So at CCOF, my, my church this week, we've been talking a lot about hearing the voice of God. How do you hear the voice of God? Now, like, before we even go further, like, let me just acknowledge, I know that even talking about the subjects like relegates me to the part of the internet um, with people who care too much about Mayan calendars and people who get their own creepy Netflix documentaries made about them, you know, that kind of people. Uh, but I, I do really believe that God speaks, and I do believe that humans can hear him if we take the time to listen. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that God speaks to me, you know, through uh, the, like times of prayer, especially with other people. And, and by being really honest and, and vulnerable with my emotions, I find I can be more in touch with what God is, is doing and asking of me. Um, you know, in, in often reading the Bible or getting, you know, like good advice from really smart, wise people. Um, but more often than not, I find that, my, that God speaks through my wife. Uh, you know, who's that for you? Is it a parent, a mentor, a professor, a small group leader, a, a sibling, um, a kid? Like, who is it for you that God speaks through? Uh, a couple of couple of years ago, my wife and I had bought our first house, and we loved this house, loved the neighborhood. We had painted an accent well. You know, we had started to make it our own. We were really, really comfortable, especially my wife. She was very comfortable in this house. And, and there we were sitting in church one day. And um, I feel like God is telling me as I'm sitting right next to my wife, like to move. And I know instinctively that this is not going to be something that she's going to want to hear. And so I start talking back to God and I'm just like, okay, God, I hear you. I see you. I think that's great. I love everything about it. But to be honest with you, um, I'm more afraid of what she's going to say. And um, I don't exactly sleep in the same bed as uh, with you. Uh, so if you could convince her, that'd be awesome. And we have a deal. Great. Thanks. Um, <laughs> and so we go home and, and I walk in the door and my wife's like, hey, um, we need to talk. And I immediately start thinking about, did I say something stupid on the way home? Like, uh, I didn't leave the toilet seat up. I, I, I emptied the dishwasher this morning, like she asked. Like, I'm thinking of all the things that I could be in trouble for. You know, we sit down and start talking, and, and she's like, I really feel like God is telling us to move. I see, we lived 30 minutes away from the church I worked at. We were outside of the community that I served, and that's not always ideal for a pastor. Um, but, you know, we could justify it, and the commute was the average American commute, and it was the house we could afford, and, you know, all those sort of things. And, and all of a sudden, God, like, shows up. And I was just b blown away because he told her the same neighborhood he told me, and um, it was just very clear. Now, those sort of things happen every couple of years for us, like the big life decision type things. Um, but the, I find that God also speaks through my wife in the small everyday moments, right? Like we'll leave a family gathering and she'll be like, hey, you were kind of harsh with so-and-so. What's going on? Or, you know, you, uh, you're kind of out of balance in your priorities with work and family. Like, are, are you paying attention to that? Or, hey, how are you? Here's, here's the question I hate the most. How are you feeling? <laughs> Because the truth is, my wife knows me better than anybody. She knows the great things about me and the ugly things about me. She has total access to my heart and my soul and my mind. And when she speaks like that, she's speaking into the places that I am most resistant to God working in. And so by being willing to listen to her, which is really, really hard for me, I'm being willing to let God shape and change me, right? Like being, letting down my pride and, and, and allowing her access to my life is allowing God to use her to make me more like Jesus. Who's that person for you? Who has total access to your, your heart, to your soul? Who can speak into those and you will listen? Who's that person for you? Man, I would really suggest it. Uh, that you find somebody like that. A mentor or a, a small group leader or a spouse or a sibling or a parent. Because that, my friends, right there is where God will speak and lead you into deeper relationship with himself.